this recognition on behalf of our efforts in promoting Rosary for Life. However, I am well aware that it is that I am well aware that we're not for the hard work and support of our members, some of whom are here tonight. Uh, we are we would not be successful in our apostolate. The late uh, Cardinal, uh, John Cardinal O'Connor once said, "What is permitted today is demanded tomorrow." Never in the history of our country has the dignity of the God-given gift of human life especially that of the unborn, the handicapped, and the elderly, been so challenged. Never before were we in such great need of your prayers. Senator Golden, your example, leadership, dedication, and commitment to values in the community are links to Rosary for Life's mission, of which we are rightfully proud. This community is truly blessed to have you representing us in Albany. I would like to, this, to take this opportunity to congratulate my fellow honorees and to thank my family and friends for their support here tonight. And one lady, Arlene Sagey, who moved from Long Island to close to where you have your office in Albany, came all the way, way down, and she has done a lot of work in the Diocese of Syracuse and in the Diocese of Albany. And Arlene, I'd like you to stand up there. <laughs> Again, my sincere thanks to you, Senator Golden, and the nominating committee. God bless you all, and may Mary be our guide. Really well done, and congratulations to you. Thank you. And believe me, we need a lot of prayers in Albany right now. We need a lot of prayers in this nation. Yeah. But right now, Albany is getting ready to change some laws here that directly affect the diocese across this great state. So it's important that we keep praying and make sure that we don't do some of these legislation that they're planning to do. Um, it would hurt us, and it would hurt. Uh, the diocese are probably bankrupt some of the dioceses across this state. Um, that's just, I'm, not, I'm going to say we're going to keep it happy, so I'm not going to get into what Albany is doing. It can be very depressing. I do want to say thank you to all of the honorees here today and to all of their guests and their families. This is what makes the community strong. This is what makes our family strong. Are the people that are being honored here today and all of you that come out here to join them in that honor. What makes this a great nation is not one person, but all of us collectively. And of each one of the stars that we honored here today, and they are stars, there are still many other stars that are sitting here that haven't been honored. But ladies and gentlemen, what makes this great nation what it is, is you. And the examples of the honorees that we have here today is what makes a difference for those little children that are growing up and that will be eventually running this great city, state, and nation. You've all contributed so much. You've all made such a difference in your own worlds. And that's what's made this a much better world today. Even though some days you shake your head, but it is a much better world and it was years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. Continue to be the great people that you are. Continue to make the contributions that you make because that will help us to go forward and to continue to make this the greatest nation in the world. Congratulations. There are some past honorees here today, and I'd like to point them out. And if they could please stand, we'd like to give them a round of applause for being here today as well. Lin Lin uh, Lydia Kirshner. Lydia? Lydia, you used to work for Verizon, did you? Verizon? No, nine years. Nine years. <laughs> 
So what she does, she goes out there and she gives up her time and she dresses up as a clown and she goes around to different events and volunteers her time and watches in parades. Today, I believe Lydia was given the gift of being cancer-free. Uh, how many years? Eight years. Two to four. God bless you. Have a great, great evening. And God bless you.